In this video, we're going to show you how to view devices in our computer-based client software. First, after you've logged into the client software and added your devices, go to the main menu page and select the live view icon in the top left corner. Whether you have a DVR, NVR, or IP cameras, they will be displayed in a column on the left side of the screen. I'm going to first click the drop down arrow next to this NVR labeled C-Wash to view all cameras that are connected. In this list of cameras, I'm going to find the one that I want and double click the camera name. And as you can see, it populated on the first channel of the camera grid. You can enlarge this view simply by double clicking the camera feed. To close this camera stream, right click your mouse while scrolling over the video and select close video. You can also view camera by clicking and dragging the specified camera to the grid view. In a live view such as this one, you can digitally zoom in by selecting the plus icon in the top right corner. The icon will turn blue, then on the video feed, left click your mouse and hold to create a digital zoom window. Move your mouse to expand the digital zoom window and release the mouse. To close the digital zoom window, simply click the plus sign again. You can also close a video stream by clicking the X in the top right corner. You can choose different camera grid views to stream multiple cameras simultaneously by selecting the different grid icons on the bottom right. Here we have a single camera view, 9 camera view, 16 channel, or select the pencil icon for other grid views. Here we're going to select a 4 channel grid view. Now we can add up to 4 cameras to this grid. You can also move a video feed by clicking and dragging. And to close all video streams, I'll right click and select close all videos. When you add a camera into a single grid view or even a four channel grid view, it's automatically going to be added as a mainstream video feed. You can specify the stream type by right clicking the camera name in the camera list and selecting either main or substream. You can also specify the stream type by selecting a video feed, right clicking, select stream type and specifying either main or substream. When using larger camera grid views such as 9 channel or higher, a substream video is automatically added when you add a camera. The max number of cameras that can be viewed depends on your camera's CPU, GPU, and whether the DVRs you are accessing are on the LAN or on the internet. Our client software allows viewing of cameras from different locations on the internet. For example, I could pull up select cameras from locations across the globe to stream in a camera grid view alongside each other. Each device is connected to the internet to be viewed remotely. Now let's say you want to make this four camera display a favorite view to pull up later without having to manually add each camera. Now that's done by selecting the save icon on the bottom left of the screen. A new window will appear where you can name this custom grid view. In this case we're going to call it view1 which will automatically save under the group name default group. Now if we were to close the live view tab or close the whole program to pull up the camera grid view we just created first go to view on the bottom left column then click the drop down window next to default group and here we see view 1. Double click to pull up the camera grid view. You can also have multiple live view tabs displaying alongside each other. First, let's create one four camera grid view. Next, click the plus sign to add another live view tab, which will display as live view 2. Under the Live View 2 tab, we'll create a 16 channel grid view and add a few cameras. I'm going to reduce the size of the software program and pull out the Live View 1 tab onto my desktop. Here you can see we have both Live View streaming alongside each other. Our client software even allows listening to one way audio from cameras that have a microphone. First, you pull up the camera's live feed and select the speaker audio icon in the top right corner of the video feed. Here's an audio test from this camera's live stream. Audio test. 10, 8. To turn audio off, click the audio icon again. We hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.